Let's bring Jim back on for the afternoon. Please help me in welcoming Mr. Jim Rohn. I was positive when I got older and had less hair that you could get ready quicker. Now it takes more time to arrange each one. I mean, it's a, <laughs> a little difficult anyway. Is everybody okay? If you're ready to go, say, let's go. I like this crowd. We should do this again sometime. This is fabulous. I'm telling you. You guys have worked so hard. In fact, you've worked as hard as I have or any of the speakers. Taking notes is not an easy deal. Thinking, pondering while you're taking notes, it's, it's hard work. But, uh, you know, a crash program for two or three days, we can, we can tolerate that. Every weekend, you know, it'd be a little tough. Couldn't be done. But you've done such a fabulous job. I appreciate that. Okay, let's do the workshop now and setting goals, developing a good plan for the next 10 years especially, some of the things you want to accomplish, let our dreams pull us through, our objectives sustain us, get us up early, keep us up late, All right, drive us to do the disciplines, read the books, take the classes, study, whatever is necessary. If the dreams are strong enough and the purpose is strong enough, we will pay the price. Then after we've accomplished, here's what you'll say, small price to pay. Okay, so let's go to work. Entitle this part of it now, Workshop. And under the workshop, I'm going to ask a series of questions, and it's going to serve as a model so that you can teach this to your children, you can teach it in classes, you can teach it anywhere. And I'm going to give you the question first and then give you time to work the exercise, okay? So you jot down the question and then work the exercise. And if for lack of time, we have to cut you working the exercise a little bit short, it's something you can continue, you know, after you've gotten home or whatever. You can continue doing the exercise. But I want to make sure I get through it all so that you have this format to follow on setting goals because I, I think it's so valuable. Okay. Under the workshop, now here's the first question. What five things have you already accomplished that you're proud of? Let's take some credit before we go to work on the future. We've accomplished some things in the past. Let's give ourselves credit for that. When you're working with kids, this is important. What five things have you already accomplished that you're proud of? So I want you to make a note of that question and then I want you to do the exercise. Make a list of five things that you can think of that you've already accomplished that you're proud of. And we've probably got some gold medal winners and you know, no telling who we've got in the audience. I did a tour of Australia once with Mark Tewksbury gold medal winner and I'm sure under this exercise he would have put that on his list won the gold medal in Barcelona I also did that tour with uh, David Chilton who wrote the book the wealthy barber if you haven't got it you got to get it might add it to uh, Charlie's list the wealthy barber by David Chilton It became a number one bestseller in Canada. Sold 600,000 copies first year. A bestseller in Canada is like 50,000, 60,000. 600,000. And David used to say, you know, I'd be number one in Canada if Jim Rohn had quit pushing the Bible. So, so list five things that, you're, that you've already accomplished that you're proud of. I graduated third in my uh, high school class. I was really proud of that. It took a lot of hard work. Now, if there's only three, it's not that great. <laughs> you got that now? A list of five things you've already accomplished that you're proud of. And sometimes even for kids, you have to do a little coaching. You know, sports or school or whatever. Did you win a blue ribbon? Did you come in first? So this is part of this format to do a little coaching to help people 
you know, get through these exercises. Okay, five things you've already accomplished that you're proud of. Okay, now here's the next exercise, and this is going to take some time. Next question. What do you want in the next 10 years? I want you to make a list of at least 50 items. Now, this is not what you think you can get. This is what you want. If everything fell into place and you could have anything you wanted in the next 10 years, what would that list be? Not something you think you can earn, not something you think you can buy, not something you think you can, you know, finally be so successful you can get. This is what would really do it for you the next 10 years. I want you to make this list. And here's the deal now. I want you to put each item one under the other, not side by side, but one under the other. And make a lo as long a list as you possibly can in the time I'm going to give you. One underneath the other, because we're going to do some things with this list when you finish. Okay? Just start writing now as fast as you can. Abbreviate where you can. Make a longer list. If something's private, put it in code so nobody could figure it out if they got a hold of this list. One underneath the other. As fast as you can write. Just let your dreams, okay, run free here. Not what you think you can get, but what you want. If everything fell into place and you could have whatever you wanted the next 10 years, what would that be? Little things, major things, insignificant things, doesn't matter. Just make the list. Places you want to visit. I've been to a lot of countries, but I got a long list of countries I haven't been to yet. Last year I checked Cyprus off my list. What countries haven't you been to that you'd like to visit the next 10 years? Cities you'd like to visit. I've never been to Venice. I've been around the world and all over Italy and I've never been to Venice, so it's on my list. I haven't been to Egypt. It's on my list. I haven't been to Saudi Arabia. You'd think I've been everywhere, you know, 39 years. Not yet. What experiences would you like to have in the next 10 years? Parachute out of an airplane? Star in a movie? Play in a rock and roll band. Win a gold medal in the Olympics. Start a new family. Learn to play a musical instrument. Try a new sport. Bill Bailey's after me to go skiing. You know, I'm not really a winter person. I let my friends go north, I go south. They say, do you ski? I said, yes, water ski. But he's got me convinced. I have to go try it. He likes the snow. I like the sand. What would you like to learn? Next 10 years. Now I've got to learn to play golf. John Batanti, Bill Bailey on my case. Now it's a test of friendship. Learn to play golf or don't come see us anymore. What do you want for your children? That's a whole list in itself. Education, places you want to take them. My parents traveled. So valuable for me. I missed 21 weeks of high school. My junior and senior year combined. 21 weeks I missed. Still graduated third. 
because my parents took me. My parents took me everywhere. They wanted me to meet, and they wanted me to see, and they wanted me to do. What new skill would you like to learn over the next 10 years? When I started learning new skills at age 25, it changed my life. I learned sales, multiplied my income by five first year. I learned how to find good people, recruiting, multiplied my income some more. Learned how to organize, learned how to promote, rewarding people for small steps of progress. I became so good at that, my income went crazy. Maybe you'd like to give seminars, write some books. The next 10 years, some things right away, within the next year, some on out there. 10 years is a pretty good chunk of time. Some changes you'd like to make, some habits you'd like to drop, some new ones you'd like to acquire. You might make a list of the people you want to meet over the next 10 years. I got Buck Owens coming up right into this month. Me and Buck, Bakersfield, oil patch country. It'll be so much fun to check Buck Owens off my list. Right now. I was having breakfast the other morning. Guess who was there? Milton Burl. Uncle Milty, 93 years old, going strong. Gosh, it was incredible, because I'd never met him before. <laughs> Benevolence goals. Maybe you've got a long list of projects you'd like to support. Now, this is not what you think you can do. This is what you'd really like to do. Mark Hughes had a passion for helping kids that had drug problems. One year he gave eight million. Eight million dollars. When I first met him, he couldn't give 800. Finally, he could give eight million. Andrew Carnegie said, I'm going to spend the first half of my life accumulating money, and I'm going to spend the last half of my life giving it all away. Wow. That's big time. In the first half of his life, he accumulated $400 million, which back then was a lot of money. <laughs> Guess what he did the last half of his life? He gave it all away. So keep your list going. What's got you turned on? Maybe you've been turned off until you got here this weekend. I want you to start working on turning your lights on for accomplishments. You can't believe what you can accomplish if you'll just work hard on this list now. You know, it's amazing how adults have, you know, a problem with this, right? Let's see. And kids don't have any problem. They'd be asking for extra sheets of paper by now. I mean, you know, kids say, you mean anything I could, anything I want the next 10 years? Yes, write it all down. They would go like crazy. A cabin in the mountains. Uh, Upstairs maid, uh, a cook, a chauffeur. How about your investments, properties?
One of my goals was someday to be financially independent. We're going to talk about that a little later. My father convinced me years and years ago that someday I should be debt free. Owe no one anything. My mother and father practiced that. When I inherited the estate, all the lands and the house and the buildings and the things and the cars and everything, guess how much was owing when I inherited it all? Zero. Not one penny. Everything. Free. It is a glorious feeling for no one to have a claim on anything you got. Maybe you want to be in the top 10 in wealth. Is Bill Gates still number one? Okay. The top 10 or the top 20. I mean, you know, whatever. Maybe you're working on a new invention. Congratulations. Someday. Who knows? Make a list of your health goals. Got to have a good physical support system over the next 10 years. How healthy do you want to be? Eliminate some illnesses, eliminate some weaknesses. Get strong for competition in the 21st century. One of my goals was to have a residence in each season, for each season. Finally, check that off my list. So I could spend winter here and summer here, and autumn here and spring here. A residence for each season. An apartment in Manhattan. A ranch in Brazil. What would really do it for you the next 10 years? Some goals for your career, your business. Some productivity goals. Okay, are you doing well? Does anybody have 50 yet? Okay, we've got quite a few. We're going to take like three or four more minutes, so just start putting everything you can think of on here. I put a little revenge on my first list. Some of the people that said I couldn't do well, they were on that first list. Couldn't wait to get my new car, drive it up on their lawn. <laughs> and say, oh, pardon me, here's the money to have it fixed. I mean, I, I had some stuff on my list. Something that would give you incredible satisfaction. Old Testament, God says, vengeance is mine, all mine. No wonder he wants it all. It feels so good. <laughs> if I was God, I'd want it all. What would really do it for you? Some scores to settle, gently, but <laughs> deliberately. My Japanese friend, Toro Ikeda, San Jose, California, put on his first list, a Caucasian gardener. I thought, hey, that's good, Doro. <laughs> what would do it for you? Okay. Become a wine connoisseur. I'm learning more and more how to make wine. It's an interesting process. A hobby you'd like to start. Collecting.
new car, become a race driver. I got this neat little motorhome, right? Put the dirt back on the back, away I go. I'm now putting a fax machine in my motorhome so I can be a little more in touch even when I'm gone. Here's my new mode for the future, in touch and out of reach. It's, that's the new deal. Say, so yes, you can, right? You can contact him, but you can't find him for a while, he's gone. So, you know, what is your goal for the future to get away? something that would really serve you well in terms of refreshing, change of pace, skills you want to help teach your children. I taught my girls how to swim, how to dive. Such great satisfaction when they used to say, watch me, daddy, watch me. Look how good I am. You taught me, watch me. Got a good phrase for you. This is a good one to put in here. All life seems to wish to reward its benefactor. All life wishes to reward its benefactor. If you take especially good care of the flowers, they will bloom especially bright for you. If you teach your children, they will want to show off for you. Daddy, look how good I am. You're the one that taught me. You want to watch me do it again? Right. All life takes delight in rewarding its benefactor. What classes would you like to teach? My friend Lydia Cologne who 21 year, 20 years ago invested a dollar, now she's a millionaire. One of her specialties is helping young parents do a little marriage counseling. Right, some of those early years, right? Two, three, four, five years, those early years are pretty tough to get through. What specialty would you like to learn, make a contribution to society, make a contribution to your community? Does most everybody have a list of 50 now? Let me see the hands. How many's got 50? Okay, that's almost everybody. Okay, now put a little star there, right, that says you can continue this list. This doesn't mean this is all you get. Say, no, this is just to get you started because I promise you when you get back home, you'll think of 50 more and 50 more and 50 more that you couldn't think of while you were here and, and this list can grow and grow and grow. Now, here's what this also means. If you have a lot more time than we have today, you can take plenty of time to just have people make as long a list as, you know, possible. 